right. Sorry. <laughs> so I, I guess I've got a few questions for you, first of all. And 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 your your journey or what I know of you is um it, it's a unique one. And we at the Phoenix Foundation are looking for um inspiring Olympic journeys. Tell us how you got into cycling, first of all. Yeah, it was through my dad basically giving me his old road bike to commute in and out of work. <laughs> and that was honestly that was the beginning of it all. Um he, he was probably a big a big part of the whole journey in terms of encouraging me because he could see he could see that I liked it straight off the bat and you know I wanted to do more of it so he was straight away thinking she needs to join a cycling club she should go out in the weekends and basically after a year of commuting I joined I joined a local club Orwell Wheelers and yeah so they got me starting racing on the road and the I I wasn't good at it. Let's just say that I um I, I just I really liked it and I was enjoying kind of challenging myself and finding this new identity almost that I didn't think I had. I didn't think I was a sporty person, as you if you know my background at all. Like I I had no sports uh, as part of my life for about ten years. It was yeah, he heavy drinking and smoking and very unhealthy choices. Um. So being a sports person or being an athlete, it was not something that I considered myself. Um, so to start seeing myself improving and um, people telling me that I wasn't that bad, it really uh, motivated me to keep going. And I yeah, it's just kind of moved away from those old lifestyle choices. From the outside, just reading about it and then just hearing you talk about it, it's quite a, a, an amazing story because for People who, I guess, if you watch the Olympics, you you imagine that everyone who's there was born, and as soon as they could walk, they got on a bike, and then they just kept doing that until they eventually did it. So, I mean, for yeah. me, looking back at, at photos of you uh, that exist online, that are compared to you now, it's just completely, it's almost like a completely it's different person. I mean, when you look back at that, do you just think, do you think, Oh, I should have done this earlier, or I don't really, I don't recognise that person anymore. I mean, how, how do you feel that you've evolved over the past, what would be now five years? Yeah, you know, I do look back at those pictures and and almost don't recognise myself. Um, I know that was that was me, and it was a part of my life, and it was it was. I wouldn't. I always say I wouldn't change it because those were the choices that I wanted to make at the time. And that was the journey that I was going through. And I think a part of me thinks if I got into sport earlier, it wouldn't have lasted as well. Uh, I think I might have burned myself out. I would have lost interest maybe. And just the, the choices that I made at the time were what I wanted. So it is what it is.